What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we fought the British a few times. No, fought the, um, sorry, I'm completely mixed up. We fought the Huron up here and we knocked them out of the game, so now their regions become... Well, I presume the Brits must have taken it while I wasn't looking, because I, I was for sure they had this region when I decided which one of these to attack. So now they're out in the game. And looks like these regions have rebelled against the, uh, the Cherokee. And Sweden up here looks like they're going to be making a beeline straight for it, which I can't really stop them. Um, and I landed and took Florida with my Bahamas army. And because all of these regions were unguarded, I just immediately one turn, just hop, took Savannah, hop, took Charleston, because there was no garrisons in them. So I just kept going. So now they are mine. Um, in Europe... The Germans are hanging around. Well, the Germans, sorry, the Russians are hanging around. But I, move, I moved up a brand new, brand spanking new French army uh, to prevent them from running around too freely. Let's repair you. And then I'm also being cagey about the Spanish. Because hopefully they can send their troops east and do some fighting. But what the Spanish have managed to do, which is quite interesting, is take Istanbul. Um, for how long? I don't know. Because they are extremely rebellious extremely rebellious and they've only got some elite units a handful of elite units actually um, guarding it so maybe that's where this army wants to run all the way through allied territory through down here maybe I don't know um, I'm not going to be helping them out though because they're a future enemy um, my research and tech is going okay haven't built my uni new universities yet so I can't break into the, the um, high tier um civil tax my industry is coming along fine yeah everything's going okay well as far as, as far as i know um oh yes yeah, on a small matter of me laying siege to london i'm not going to attack them a because siege is a buggy as hell and uh, b um they have mortars and c they're slowly building a naval college for me so i may as well let them do that if they want to do that and then that's it. But once I've taken Britain, this army will be sailing up around the Scandinavian region and landing at Archangel and capturing this region and then moving on and capturing Petrovskaya and then eventually threatening St. Petersburg to really create a threat in the rear areas of the Russians. And I'm tem just looking at it now, it's tempting to create... A small army, not very expensive, not very elite. Sail them around up through the... Oh, what are these called? The, the, that's the, or the Dardanelles. Oh, is that the Dardanelles? Oh, whatever strait this is, I can't remember. I'm um, into the Black Sea and take Crimea and just hold it. Um, I was thinking... Oh, no, that won't block off then their access to, the, to trade because they've got... Oh no, this is a shipyard. That's a naval hospital. But they're expanding the naval domain. Hmm. It's a tricky one. But the main thing to be concerned about, I think, in the long term, is that Spain is hostile to me. And they have a couple of regions that could be quite frustrating. But they are also allied with Sweden and Austria. And my relations with Austria are friendly. And Sweden, they are hostile. So if they joined me, Sweden might... If they declared on me, Sweden might go for it. Um, Austria, maybe not. So I might, you know, present some state gifts to Austria to keep them on my side. But yeah, let's hit end turn. Let's see, uh, let's see if things go horribly wrong first. Oh, yes, and the Brits are going to go and tear down some ports. <laughs> this is the, the, the last... The last... Uh, shakings or twerkings of a dying empire i don't like how the austrians are sat around berlin i mean it's helpful it's handy sure but ooh, go on fight that russian army for me what oh i must be out of movement points i don't i do not like how spain is making lots of moves Fortunately, Lisbon is fortified, so if they fight me there, I shall be able to push them back. 
effectively, if they fight, if they fight me, I might have to make peace with Russia to deal with it. Because the potential is that I'll be effectively at war with all of Europe at once, which would be concerning. Not, not, not a problem. Just, uh, just a concern. Something to be wary of. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here. So I've researched carronades. And you'll go on to carbines, but don't bother about carbines. But then again, there's not really much else for you to do. No, you can get selective breeding. Upgrade some, upgrade some farms. That sounds good. Keep going with the economy. Let's upgrade you all to roads. To have metal roads, sorry. Let's pick up you and you. And then pick up you. Drop my militia to guard the port. Good, good, good. And you. Okay. So let's get another unit of Guard Swiss. That's all of the Guard Swiss. And then let's get two units of Marines. Put on my elite infantry corps before I start adding too many um, line infantry units. Candy's been developed. Ooh, oh, this region's not being exploited, the forgotten region. Here, have all the things. Oh no, actually I want to do that. It's no good having lots of stuff to export if they can't get to the port. Let's upgrade the rice farm. Good, now do I sail up and capture Calcutta? Yeah, I do, but at the same time the risk of war in Europe is too big. So I don't want to, to push it. Yeah, France is not happy. France is not happy at all. Or will become increasingly unhappy. So I'll start to need to recruit more um, militia to garrison. Because I do not... While I'm open to France becoming a republic, um, I think it would be f fun keeping it as a royalist... Royalist let's play. Um, because you don't really... Lots of people like converting France to republics, and I... Probably something a bit different. That's artillery that's been Votre Majesté? recruited. Oui, monsieur. So that's 12 pounders and one artillery. Then we're going to start getting 12, some 18 pounders and some, uh, some howitzers and cavalry. Good. Still laying siege. To be honest, I could destroy this army by forcing them out. <laughs> by forcing them out to fight my fleet. But why damage my fleet even a little bit if I can just capture England? Because that is the reason why I don't want to fight them. Those four mortars. Holy moly. Oh, they're still pushing up to York Factory. What are they going to... Aha! The Brits in Annapolis have sallied out, probably because they're going to die if they don't. When you send colonial troops to fight in another colonial powers, colonial war. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Indian mercenaries, company troops. No, it's not going to work. It is not going to work at all. Strongest minds are often those whom the noisy world hears least. Holy moly. Anyway... Come at me. Because right now they've just got... Because right now they've just got some bits and pieces. They've not really... Well, they've just got a load of infantry. And that's not going to help them.
There we go. And then one colonial here. So they've deployed either side of me, because the town's in the centre. One hopes they will drive into the middle. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that was a spring. Spring on my microphone. Microphone stand. Yeah, 12 pounders. Oh, they've not unlimbered, that's why. I was about to say, they must have the range, surely. See, this is so in vanilla. I'm pretty sure East, East India Company troops have black hats. Um, but I think that's quite a cool little change. I do like the the inclusion of Indian mercenaries because in the well, in the campaign, as we all we all know, it wasn't just company troops and you know British recruited infantry. It was various princes and princedoms and all sorts that fought. Radio ho. God, folks firing this first the fifth regiment of foot, East India Company Infantry. So let's mix the the fire out a bit. Oh wow. Excellent shot. Ah, you made your move. Oh god, this poor unit of infantry. This is why fighting in this day and age would be horrifying. Not, well, in this day and age, sorry, not modern times. I'm sure modern day warfare is terrifying in different ways. But I couldn't think of anything worse than walking straight out a bloke with a big, you know, with a big brass cannon pointing at you, ready to blow your head off. Hit the gorillas or else they'll get some cheeky uh, cavalry kills. I'm pretty sure one of the gorillas just fell over before they even got to him. So let's draw out this unit of militia if they want to chase me. Well, this unit of line infantry, if anything, if they want to chase me, I'm more than happy to chase down a unit, to, to a unit of line. But what I want is for them to be uh, away from the rest of their troops so they can't get support. They didn't deploy stakes. They sure did. So when these guys are engaged in... Okay, yeah. So they're moving up to my guys, but they're going to be... The range is going to be about here. Colonial lights hit their general. See, they've suddenly got a massive beef with my cavalry. Like, no, don't worry about it. Your general should. I'm from the field. So I'm probably going to lose a few horses because I'm light cavalry against a general unit, but I should eventually win it. 
There you go, see, they're going back into it. Right. Now let's charge into this Indian mercenary unit, because these guys are going to be engaged by my infantry. Wavering. Still wavering and they're routing. Make sure all my artillery are not firing into cavalry combats. To be honest, maybe just stop them from shooting at all. Because look at this, perfectly timed. So be careful with this line of stakes. Let's keep my hearts firing on the other flank. Yeah, he died on the stake because he was a stupido. Poor devils. Let's make sure they don't run. Yeah, you may as well just keep chasing the uh, safe target off to the side. Let's bring you around like this. So once they get past the stakes, then they're safe to chase them down. Now chase them down. Now your silly little stake defences don't mean nothing. Uh, maybe knock out the Indian mercenaries first. You all hit the sepoys. As there's only seven of them, it would be rude to not take the opportunity just to just immediately. Two, one, zero. But as these poor souls advance up into the line, let's watch the officer. How does, how does he get on? Oh god, he's dead. <laughs> That's the end of him. You may not horse guard him, sir. So let's bring this cavalry unit up here. I need to wait for this unit of retreating British infantry. Because those stakes really constrain my... Room, room for manoeuvre. Are we going to take the colours? We did. Lovely. Deploy mon general. Oh no, don't charge him through. I remember what happened last time. Hold fire. And let's just do Quickly mop them up. Straight on it right to where they're going to be. 
two, one, zero. Chase him down. You go on onto that high unit of Eastern East India cavalry. No, actually, you come back and chase them. They're probably going to rout. There we go. French cavalry just swarming across the countryside. They don't have a chance. Can't select everyone at triple speed. Ten men. Three. One. Boom. <laughs> Say, how many of you need to chop that one man? Eighty-one losses for one thousand eight hundred and ninety-three dead British. That's a very good exchange rate, if I do say so myself. I am pleased. It looks like the Austrians are going aggro on the front on the Russians. I mean, I could go aggro, but I don't know if I want to. I might send my army that's currently guarding Brandenburg eastward. I'll just let this... Oh, wait, I want to see where the Spanish go. Because ultimately I'm doing well. I don't need to be fighting in Europe yet. Granted, I am at war with people, but that's different to needing to, be, needing to fight them. I'm just... I'm prepared, I suppose, is the way I would phrase it. Let's see if they pull back their other army. Nope. They're content to sit in a port, which is fine. Yeah, the Swedes have gone home. Oh, someone else is home. Hopefully Louisiana is starting to... Well, they want to build up an, an assault force for somewhere. There is a port in this region that has not yet Fire in advance. Select the type of port. Research. So they've gone from fire in advance onto probably shortened carbines, I suspect. So you're not a good university to do that. I want you seven turns to do that. And I probably want you to go on and do... Selective breeding within ten turns is probably better than diamond formation. I never use cavalry formations. I probably should, but I just don't. Okay, let's just keep upgrading my military buildings as and when, because I don't want to be held back in military research anymore. Steam engine factory. The first steam engine factory I've built, I think. No, don't need, you don't need a gunnery school yet. Structure, construction, build a military academy in Edinburgh. If I'm going to be recruiting troops here, I want to spread the, I want to balance the other demand on my regions. Okay, I might build. Okay, so who's got the bigger population? No one has a really big population. So you probably do with is another unit of howitzers, two twelve pounders, and we've got some cool elite infantry. Ooh, expats. Let's recruit a bunch of expats. I want to put some expats in this army and probably if I dropped out some, well I can drop out a unit of Corridor Black because I've already got my light infantry, so can they can. What now? Do they go join them? No, they don't. They sit there for now. Um, and probably drop a couple of uh, infantry units to make us a bit of an expatriate army. I think that would be fun. Units recruited? None. Cool. But I'm pretty sure they have been recruited. See? Votre Majesty? En avant! Yeah, so... I'm going to lose some... Uh, 
lose some law and order, so I'm going to want some garrison my capital with lots of militia. So you don't need any of this, not yet. Ah, you can have roads though. Roads will be good. But yeah, everyone's running up to go fight them. So part of me's tempted not to. I'm tempted to put this army or well, to be honest, I'm tempted to send this army back to here to keep an eye on the Spanish. Like I said, it will happen because they really hate me. And we're allied. Oh, see, they don't. Mm. See, we're good with the Austrians, but it's the Spanish. Minus 187. Mm. Can't give them the state gift either. But no, if I start to fight, for, if I start to fight Russia, it will be in the rear areas. That's where it's going to be up here. In India, I could. No, I've gone through this before. I could try take Calcutta, but I don't want to expose myself to a war in India yet. Because you think if Spain declares on me, I'm going to be really busy conquering loads of uh, Spanish regions. See, Spanish are taking up Louisiana, and they're probably going to take Lower Louisiana as well. So just quick, yeah, I've finished that battle off. It's almost inconsequential. Do a bit of replenishment. Cool. Then probably bring this army down to start to take out these Cherokee regions. Let's move this army up to Northwest Territory. Actually, so they're going to stand off. Let them finish building this and this <laughs> before they get involved. Cool, let's hit and turn. Yep, the Brits are going to be the Brits. I'm pretty sure the Austrians of the um, Spanish are running to try and fortify. Ooh. <sighs> For a minute there. I, th I was like, oh. I mean, I was pretty sure they were going to get on ships. But a part of me just went, ooh, are they going to go and... Are they going to go siege my cap siege of Lisbon? If this is part of some massive AI bluff and the Austrians and the Spanish under the covert... Under the, under the guise of an alliance have swarmed Berlin. That would be impressive. Very impressive. Wouldn't even be mad if they did it. Because <laughs> that'd be so... So smart of the AI to do. I mean, they probably aren't doing it, but they really want to hold on to Gdansk. Um, nah, it's my Berlin garrison. I want to keep my Berlin garrison strong. Thank you very much. There is a port in this region that yeah, is not fair yet enough. developed. Select. Well, it has been developed. You just want, don't want to pretend. You just want to pretend it hasn't. Cool rice fields. Weaver's cottage. One more turn to new roads. How are you feeling? Still pretty Islamic. With time. 47. Hmm, might not be around for too long. Good. Lots of good recruitment in France. And in Pennsylvania. Cool. Yeah, let's keep Quebec building. Expanding. Here on territory, you don't need any major expense. So let's do this. Water power cloth milks. Montreal is quite valuable. Florida farmland. We've got some more weavers cottage. Is this one in Raleigh? Yes it is in Raleigh. Spot on. Then let's fix 
Annapolis. Then let's expand uh, Pennsylvania and well, actually Pennsylvania's not got many people in it, has it? No, the population's really gone down in the Americas. It's remarkable I managed to get the army I have in my other campaign. One more turn. One more turn until the Brits sally out of London. Unless they let me take it for some weird reason. Cool. How's my naval college coming along? Three turns. Okie dokie. Platoon firing. Plus one management and training. Army board. Get Tyrallier. French Sans Suisse riflemen and sharpshooters. Good. Do like unit variety. And where was it? Percussion cap. Does this get me a cool unit? French voltageurs and riflemen scouts. Cool. Let's end turn and see what happens. There we go. The Brits are sallying out. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and see me in the next part where we will defeat the British in battle and then capture London and knock the British Empire out of this campaign. <laughs>